your presence in this place. Thank you for the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit who rides with us and rest upon our lives. Lord, we say thank you for every blessing provided and given in our lives. Lord, we thank you the hand of mercy that's been upon us. Food on our day one, clothes on our backs. Lord, we just want to say thank you for that. Thank you, Lord, that you continue to make a way out of no way heal our bodies, Lord. We thank you that you continue to allow us to get up out of our bed now. lay down at night Lord thank you for the joy you bring peace mercy and contentment in our lives Lord we thank you for that we just ask right now Lord in the name of Jesus that you would continue to bring Rest unto our bodies. Give us healing where it's needed. Provide, Lord, for all of our needs. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you would just make a way out of no way when our backs are pressed against the wall and we're not sure which way we all turn. Lord, be there with us and for us. Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we know that you're able to do what we can't do. Take us, Lord, to heights unknown, Lord, and unexperienced before. Lord, we pray that you would just continue to work in our lives, Lord, and give us what we stand in need of. We'll be ever so careful to give you the praise and the honor and the glory for it all. Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that you would speak to us and through us. Lord, use this old vessel of clay, Lord, even in its weaknesses, even in its fatigue, Lord, we pray that you would do the supernatural, Lord, that you would work, Lord, in a mighty way, Lord, that you would bring about your will. Let us hear from heaven. Lord, let us lead different than when we came. Knowing that you are with us and that you are able. Thank you now. All that you've done all that you're about to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
in us what we cannot do on our own. Amen. I trust that you pray as God preach. Amen. James chapter 1 say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. Uh, but each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits yes. of his creatures. Amen. Finishing the race. There's always a challenge that we would finish what we start. If I can use a uh, track analogy, a map, talking about a race. Uh, it's that third lap that third quarter uh, of any race that is toughest. I don't know how many of you have run track, uh, have been a track enthusiast and have watched much track. Yes. Uh, but it's that third leg of the race that is often the hardest. Many start with enthusiasm. Uh, that's not the problem. Uh, when the finish line is in sight, it gives a sense of encouragement and boost and extra strength and stamina uh, that makes you want to get to the finish line. We used, to, we used to have a track what we call rabbits. Pray with me if you will. Yes. Yeah. So if you pray, we'll preach. <laughs> yeah. All right. uh, we had what was called rabbits. Amen. A rabbit was uh, that, that, that guy, that girl who, when the gun would fire, uh, they would take off out of the blocks uh, in full speed, giving it all that they got. Yes. Uh, 
they had it in their mind. They just wanted to get out in front of the pack. And they would. Yeah. Uh, they would give all of their strength and might so that they could uh, get out there. They, they give it all they got. And then uh, when you finally come around to the finish line, that last, uh, that last quarter, uh, there they were lingering in the back of the pack. Uh, they started out good, but yes. they didn't have a strong finish. My, yes. My brothers and sisters, uh, we must not only have a good start, uh, but we've got to find our way to having a strong finish. Uh, the race is not given to the swift, nor to the strong, but to he who endures to the end. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Yes. 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 Uh, it is imperative that the church, that the believer, finds his or her way to the finish line in life. There are, there are many things, there are many obstacles that uh, can detour us, that can throw us off course, that could cause us to throw in the towel before it's all over. Yes. And uh, my brothers and sisters, that's, that's not what God intended or designed for us to do. He never promised that the road would be easy. <laughs> yes. Amen. But he does share with us that we can make it to the end. He does promise us that he will be with us. Amen. And so he shares with us in verse 12, Blessed is the man who endures temptation. Now he's talking about the same thing that he was talking about when he started this chapter. Uh, the testing of our faith. Yes. Uh, he, he's talking about the trials that we experienced along the way. Yes. And he shared, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Yes, uh, and, and so he now comes back in verse 12, and he says, he says, blessed is the man, uh, fortunate, well off, happy, yes, uh, uh, is that individual who Finish what he starts. Yes. God says that if you want to have a good run, if you want to have uh, a great life, if you want to have uh, joy, unspeakable, and full of glory, yes. Yes. then you ought to finish what you start. Yes. Yes. And some writer said, I almost gave up. Uh, was right at the edge of a breakthrough, yes. but I couldn't see it. Yes. And how many times, brothers and sisters, have we been right there at the prize, at the finish line, right there, ready to receive the promise, right there, ready to receive our blessing, but... Uh, we gave up. Yes. But too soon. Yes. Uh, God says that blessed is the man who endures temptation. Yes. Uh, not only uh, are we blessed when, when God is just pouring it on us, when God is just lavishing us with his goodness and his grace, when God is just allowing us uh, 
Yeah, it's like fat cats. Uh, you know, we just we just throwing it down. I yeah. mean, this steak and lobster today, and it's you know whatever else on tomorrow, and and it's potatoes on the next day, and God's just blessing. No, He says, He says, He says, I want you to understand that 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 true happiness is found when we're able to endure our tests. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, and, so, and so my brothers and sisters, uh, there is something that we receive when we go through tests in life, when we endure trials and temptations in our life. There's something that blesses us and that causes us to be better, that causes us to grow in our life. When we endure. Yes. Uh, it's only when you prune the tree. Yes. That, that it grows. Yes. And blossoms. Yes. Yes. God sometimes will prune us. Uh, God will sometimes allow us to be pruned. Yes. Yes. In our lives. Um, and tests. And temptations and trials in our lives come in various forms. Today, he want to talk about it from a different perspective. He has talked about when we fall into, yes. when, when, we, when we unexpectedly find ourselves at the bottom of a ditch, and we look up and all around us is the struggles of this world. He talks about that. But then today he brings us to a different place, a different type of struggle, a different type of temptation. Uh, and and he, he helps us to understand it. He says, let no one says when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. And so he's talking about a different thing. We do know that God tested Abraham. Yes. And he allowed him to grow and to be strengthened in his faith. He allowed him to bloom and to blossom and to grow where he was planted. Yes. And, that, and it's because of the testing of Abraham's faith that we now know him to be the father of the faithful. Yes. Hmm. But today he talks about a different kind of a testing. He talks about uh, temptation. And he says, this kind of a thing does not come from God. Yes, uh, this thing is a combination of that which we endure because of ourselves. And then he talks about something else that comes as a result of Satan. But let us first attack this idea of that which comes from ourselves. Yes, uh, because we have no problem uh, identifying when attacks come uh, from God. We, or, or should I say a test rather, should come from God. And we certainly don't have a problem when an attack would come from Satan. Yes. Yes, uh, but we oftentimes would avoid, uh, yes, embracing ourselves uh, and identifying when it's us. Yes, uh, that is that issue. Yes, uh, and, and so he now causes us to pause uh, and to look in the mirror, to look at the man uh, or the woman in the mirror who's looking back at us. Yes, yes uh, and look at verse 14. He says, but each one uh, is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticements. Yes. Yes. Uh, that there is something in terms of uh, our own desires that creates problems for us. Uh, yes. Uh, if you don't like, uh, yes, vegetables, uh, vegetables is not a problem for you. You don't have to worry about uh, gorging on vegetables. You don't have to worry about picking out on vegetables. You don't have to worry about overdoing it on vegetables. Yes. yes. Uh, 
Your problem might be in the way uh, of apple pie. Uh, your problem might be, uh, yes, in the way of German chocolate cake. Uh, yes, uh, your problem might be uh, strawberry cheesecake. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, Yes, uh, it, it, it just might be caramel corn, uh, yes, uh, that you just can't put down. Uh, or it may be, uh, yes, shave ice uh, that would cause you to sit down in front of the machine uh, and make you ten cups. Can I get a witness in here? <laughs> My brothers and sisters, uh, it's our own desires that entice us, that draw us in, uh, cause us to chase after a thing. And he says, my brothers and sisters, if we are going to make it over the hill, if we're going to make it to the finish line, uh, we've got to be careful uh, of our own internal desires and instincts that would draw us in directions we ought not go. All right. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, he says, here's the danger, here's the reason why we ought to be careful of ourselves. He says, because desire. When it has conceived, it gives birth. And what desire will ultimately give birth to is sin. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, and then when we get done with sin, sin will start to grow up on you. Yes, it will start to develop. It will gain an appetite all of its own. Uh, yes. Uh, and when it Fully grown. Yes. yes uh, you'll be staring in the face of death. Yes. yes. Do, do you see what he's talking about? Yes. yes uh, I hear Moses saying uh, that rather than enjoy the pleasures of sin uh, for a moment, for a season, uh, yes, uh, he decided that he'd go ahead and he would suffer with the children of God uh, so that he can gain some eternal benefits uh, in the long run. Uh, my brothers and sisters, sometimes uh, we got to sacrifice uh, the pleasures of today uh, for the promises of tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. And then he said, then, then God helps us to understand something else. Uh, yes, uh, we draw from another text uh, here. When God, when Jesus was having a conversation with Peter, and he says, uh, uh, Peter, and he calls him by his name more than once uh, to get his attention, and, and he says to him these words, Satan has desired to have you, yes. that he might sift you as wheat. Yes. Now Peter thought that he was pretty tough. Yeah. Yes, he, he thought that he was rambunctious and all of that. He yes. had been going to the gym and exercising his faith. Wow. And he felt like he could handle Satan and all of his tricks and things. Jesus saw down the road and around the corner. He saw some stuff that Peter did not know. Mm -hmm. Peter didn't know some stuff about himself. Wow. Yes. Jesus brought it to his attention, highlighted it in his presence. And he told him that Satan desires to have you, that he might sift you as we. And here's what I want you to understand about sifting. Yes, because sifting don't have to be all bad. Some of y'all know a little bit about sifting. You've done some sifting. Yes, uh, before the days of buying this pre-sifted flour that really ain't pre-sifted because but while it's riding on the truck, bouncing up and down, it's packing itself back together. Right. Yes, uh, but some of y'all know when you used to bake before Betty, uh, you know, Crocker and uh, Duncan Hines and, and all of that, you would take the flour and you would sift it and allow it to sort of air up. Yes, and somebody goes a little bit further back than that. And you'll remember, uh, yes, uh, harvesting the wheat uh, and how you would have to sift uh, the wheat from the chaff. The chaff is that hard husk that, that surrounds uh, the good wheat uh, that is good for baking, that is good for cooking with. Yes, uh, and so you would have to separate the two. 
Yes. Uh, and, and my brothers and sisters, I want to show you something. Uh, when, when, they would, when they would sift the wheat uh, from the chaff, Yes, they would sift it in such a way with the winnowing fan that would blow away the chaff, but would allow the wheat to fall back down, and they would be able to have the wheat remain, yes. and the chaff would blow away. Yeah, that's good sifting. Yes, and every now and then when God comes our way to sift us or to prune us, God is only pruning us so that we can bear more fruit. Yes, yes. yes. in our lives. But when Satan comes along and when Satan decides that he would sift us, he's not sifting us so that the wheat would remain. Satan sifts us so that the chaff will remain. Uh, Satan sifts us uh, so that he can say, look at that, I got you. Yeah, Satan sifts us, uh, yeah, so that he can go into the presence of God uh, and say, look at him, I told you, he ain't nothing, I, I told you, she ain't nothing, I told you that they, they don't really love you, they only love you while you're blessing them, they only care about you when you're showing your kindness, uh, yes, uh, but brothers and sisters, you gotta watch out. Yes, uh, for that conniving uh, snake. Uh, yeah, uh, it's no wonder that God would, would talk about him as a slivering snake. Snake will sneak up on you. Yeah. Yes, uh, when, when you're unsuspecting uh, and all of a sudden you look and there he is. Yes, yes uh, my brothers and sisters uh he, 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 he's one uh, like a royal lion uh, who would lie in the cut. Yes, waiting for the deer to come along unsuspectingly. Uh, yes, and then all of a sudden he launch out after uh, that deer. Uh, yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, you got to watch out for Satan. Yes, uh, he'll come and he'll try to test you. He'll try to bring temptation your way. He'll try to bring the worst out of you. Uh, yes, uh, you do know Job. Don't have time to stop by Job's door, but you do know him. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, in that conversation that Satan would have with God, uh, yes, uh, he ain't nothing. Yes, uh, uh, he, he just with you for the benefits. Yeah. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, Yes, uh, God desires that we endure yes. our temptations. Yes. God desires uh, that we would make it through our tests. Yes. And here's what God will do in your life and in my life when we endure our tests. God will place his stamp of approval on our lives. Yes, God is there to do some Q&A. Uh, that's that's quality assurance in our lives. Yes. Yes. God will place His seal upon us. Yes. Listen. Verse twelve. He says, "Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved." Amen. That word "approved" means tried. Yes. It means accepted. It means pleasing. Yes. Uh, particularly it was used in relationship to coins and money. Uh, it was respected on the basis of its proven worth. Yes. God God want us to be able to look at ourselves in the mirror and know that we've been tried through the fire, yes. but we've come out yes. as pure gold. Yes. Let, me, let me share something with you, a little story. In the ancient world, you know, there was no banking system like we have today. There was no B of A on every corner. There was no Wells Fargo or Chase down the street. 
uh, most of their money or all of their money was uh, made from metal. They would take metal and they would melt it down into a liquid form. And then they would put it in a mold. After putting it in this mold, they would allow it to cool down. And having cooled down, they would then have to shave the rough edges. When they would shave the rough edges so that it would be easier to handle, you wouldn't have this rough money to handle. Uh, some folk uh, got the bright idea to keep on shaving. And so they would take the metal, the money, and they would keep on shaving. You could shave off and you would take those shavings and you can then uh, melt it down and you can cheat and make more money. And, and so and, and so there were those who were doing that, and, uh, and, and so they had, they had come up with different ways to, to try to control this thing, and they had came up with over 80 different laws in Athens uh, to stop the practice of shaving down the coins that were in circulation. But then there were these individuals who were money changers, uh, and who were men of integrity. Uh, they they were were men of, of great honor who put only genuine full weighted money into circulation. They were they were like the bank teller when you go in and if you happen upon uh, some phony money, you happen upon some 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 illegitimate bills. Uh, Yes, it's the job of the bank teller to, to recognize uh, that it's phony money, that it's fraudulent funds. Uh, and, and they will take that money and set it to the side, turn it in to the government. Uh, yes, uh, and, and they will no longer use that money. That's what these individuals did. They, they would take the monies that were shaved down too much out of circulation, uh, and they had become called indocumous, or another way of saying that is the same word that we just said earlier, approved. They became known uh, as the approved uh, or the approvers. Uh, yes, my brothers and sisters, that's what God is doing in our lives. Uh, when we're going through various temptations in our lives, God is making us approved. Yes, uh, when, when somebody look at our lives, when we look at our own lives uh, and weigh them in the balance, uh, yes, we know that we have come through as pure gold. Yes. Yes, God says that my brothers and sisters, when we endure temptations, uh, when we come out on the other side, uh, God has something waiting for you and for me. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's tempting for us to take shortcuts. It's tempting for us to skip through the field. Uh, but God says, don't you do it. Yeah, all right. Yes. Uh, yes. I, I ran cross country. Uh, because I started out because uh, I dropped off the football team uh, and I wanted something to do. Uh, and so I, I, I got on the cross country team. A friend of mine was running and so I decided I'd give it a shot. Yes, uh, and after, after running the first meet, I was about to throw in the towel. I was about to give up and quit. But my friend encouraged me to continue on. And I then saw another alternative. Uh, yes, we were running in San Pedro at Pet Park. And, and, and it's a regular park. Uh, yes, we used it as a trail for running cross country. Uh, yes, uh, but I decided uh, as I looked across uh, that I could possibly take a shortcut. Uh, Yes, I can get off the trail. Uh, yes, take a shortcut and make it uh, over to the finish line uh, by an alternate path. Yes, uh, but I, I, I decided 
that I would not get off the course. Uh, yes, uh, because I realized one thing. Uh, if I got off the course, uh, there were reps, uh, there were judges, uh, yeah. yes, uh, who were standing around on the course. You may not see them, uh, yes, uh, but they were there. Yeah. Yes, uh, and if you get off the course, if you decide uh, you're tempted to take a shortcut, uh, yes, when you come across the finish line, uh, it won't count. Yes. yes, I'm trying to go here. I'm trying to go somewhere here. Yes, uh, because sometimes in life uh, we decide that we ought to take a shortcut. Uh, the, the course is too hard. The course is too long. Uh, the temptation is too trying. Uh, and we decide perhaps we'll take a shortcut. Uh, but I'll stop by to tell you that when you cross the finish line, it won't count. Yes, yes. Yes, uh, and that's why God says, bless it is the man. Uh, blessed is the woman uh, who endures temptation. Uh, yes, uh, that's when you'll uh, receive the crown of life. Yes. Yes, uh, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Yes, yes uh, God says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Uh, yes. yes, God says, uh, yes, you want my blessings? Uh, Yes, uh, keep on running uh, even when you're tired. Yes. yes, God says you want the prize. Uh, keep on running uh, when you feel like giving up. Uh, yes. God says uh, you, you want what I, I got in store for you. Uh, yes, when you're thirsty uh, and you feel like you need a Gatorade, uh, keep on running. Yes. Yes. Uh, see, if, if we keep on running, God says you don't have to worry about me. That, that, that's what God is ultimately saying to you and I, is that if we keep on doing our part, we don't have to worry about him doing his part. Yes. Look, look, it's right there in the text. He says, which the Lord has promised. God is no shorter than his promise. Whatever God promises in our lives, God will bring it to pass. Yes. yes, if he said it, that settles it. And I got to rush on to the finish line right about now. Yes, but let me leave you with this last thing. Yeah, God's gift that he shares with us. He gives us what it takes to endure. Yes. Yeah, listen. Verse 16, do not be deceived my beloved brother. In other words, he says, don't wonder about it. Mm. He said, don't move aimlessly without purpose. He says, don't stray far away from the truth. Yes, don't be deceived. Yes. Yes, don't be deluded. Mm. Yes, uh, Yes, uh, God is encouraging us to cling to the truth. God is encouraging us uh, to hang on to his word. Yes, yes uh, he says uh, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Yes, yes uh, what God wants you and I to know is that God, uh, yes, never comes and uh, gives us temptations uh, that will cause us to fall. Uh, yes, uh, God uh, will not put any more on us uh, than we are able to bear. Yeah. Yes, uh, God looks out for us. Uh, yes, even when uh, he sees Satan, uh, yes, uh, coming at us and attacking us, uh, Yes, uh, he won't let him put any more on us than we can bear. Uh, we talked about old Job a moment ago. Uh, yes, uh, and all that he went through uh, with the boils on his body. Uh, yes, with the loss uh, of his children. Uh, yes, yes uh, with the loss uh, of his wealth. Uh, yes, uh, God didn't allow 
him to go through more than he was able to bear. Yes, with his friends turning on him. Yes, with folk around town walk whispering about him. Yes, folk getting around. Yes, uh, have you heard uh, about old Job? Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, I wonder uh, what sin uh, he committed. Uh, have you heard? Uh, yes, uh, how he lost uh, his family. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, have you heard? Uh, yes, his wife told him, uh, Yeah, you all just gone uh, and curse God uh, and die. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, he was the talk uh, of town, uh, but then uh, he just hung uh, on in there. Uh, yeah. He tried to justify himself at times, uh, but he hung uh, on in there. Uh, yeah. He got discouraged uh, at times, uh, yeah. but he hung uh, on in there. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, he felt like giving up at times, uh, yeah. but he hung uh, on in there. Uh, Yes, uh, and he lived long enough uh, to realize uh, that God uh, gives good. Uh, yeah. Yes, he hung in there uh, long enough uh, to realize uh, that verse 17 is true. Uh, every good uh, yeah. gift uh, and every perfect gift uh, yeah. is from above. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, and by the time uh, that we finish with Job's story, uh, yeah. we learn uh, that God had given him double for his trouble. Uh, yeah. He had replaced uh, what he lost. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, God blessed him in, in spite of uh, his troubles. Uh, God blessed him uh, yeah. in spite uh, of his healing body. Uh, yeah. God blessed him. Uh, God gives good gifts. Yes. And then we understand uh, that God gives light. Yeah. Yes, uh, comes down uh, from the Father of lights. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, God is not darkness. Uh, yes, uh, God uh, does not lurk in the trenches. Uh, yes, God uh, will not spring out. Uh, yes, uh, from behind the bushes. Uh, yeah. Yes, with machete in hand. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, but God is, uh, yes, uh, the Father of lights. Uh, Yes, uh, lights uh, is good, uh, yes, uh, for eliminating darkness. Uh, yes, uh, light is good uh, for washing away our fears. Uh, yes, uh, light is good, uh, yes, uh, for giving us uh, direction uh, and guidance. Uh, light uh, is good, uh, yes, uh, for leading us uh, along uh, life's way. Uh, Yes, uh, when we're tired, uh, when we're frustrated, uh, when we're weary, wounded, and sad. Uh, yes, yeah. God will shine uh, the light from heaven uh, yeah. on our soul uh, and allow us, uh, yes, uh, to say like the songwriter, uh, walk uh, in the light. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, beautiful yeah. light. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, shine uh, all around us. Uh, yes, by day. And by night. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, can I get a witness here? Uh, is there anybody here uh, walking uh, in the light? Uh, is there anybody here? Uh, yes, uh, resting uh, in the light. Uh, is there anybody here uh, finding hope uh, from the light? Uh, yes, uh, God uh, give light. Uh, yes, uh, my brothers and sisters. Uh, you want to know where uh, you ought to turn uh, in troubled times. Uh, you ought to turn uh, to the light. Uh, yeah. I hear the psalmist saying uh, in Psalms uh, 121, uh, yes, I'll lift up my eyes uh, to the hill. Uh, and then no sooner than he says uh, that he'll lift up yeah. his eyes uh, to the hills, uh, he then asks this question, uh, from where comes my help? Uh, and then he turns around one more time uh, and he answers his own question. Uh, my help uh, comes from the Lord uh, who made heaven uh, and earth. Uh, yes, uh, if you've been wondering uh, how you're going to get out the trouble, uh, you've been wondering uh, how you're going to get around uh, your temptation, uh, you've been wondering uh, how you're going to make it over your and, uh, you've been wondering uh, how you're going to dread through your valley. Uh, yeah. I just stopped by to let you know uh, that y'all look to the 
the hill. Yeah. You ought to look to the light. Yeah. You ought to look to heaven. You ought to see the Father of light. Yeah. Yes, he'll make a way out of no way. He'll yeah. lead you through the valley. Yeah. He'll lead you over the mountain. He'll lead you yeah. through the sea. Yeah. God will yeah. take care of you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Gotta sit down now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I gotta sit down now. But, but can I leave you with this? Uh, he says God gives consistency. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, not only does he give us light. Uh, yes. yes. Not only does he give us good gifts. Uh, but God says uh, that I am uh, consistent. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, he says with whom uh, there is no variation. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, in other words, uh, that word variation, uh, he says with whom uh, there is uh, no fickleness. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, with whom, uh, yes, uh, there is uh, no variableness. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, and he says, uh, no shadow uh, of changing. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, a shadow is created uh, by light shining down uh, on an object. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, but there's something about a shadow uh, that you all know. Uh, Yes, uh, is that a shadow? Uh, yes, uh, it shifts. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, when the light behind it shifts. Uh, yes, uh, it shifts uh, when the object uh, that is the light is shining on shifts. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, a, a shadow uh, is unstable. Uh, a shadow is not permanent. Uh, wow. Yes, uh, a shadow may be on this side. Uh, yes, uh, from the morning sun. Uh, Yes, but by the time uh, evening comes, uh, yes. the shadow uh, has shifted over here. Uh, and God says, uh, yes, unlike shadows, uh, yes, you don't have to worry uh, about me. Uh, yes, shifting. Uh, you don't have to worry about me uh, being here today uh, and there tomorrow. Uh, yes, uh, here now, uh, but gone uh, then. Uh, yes, uh, he says, there is no uh, variableness. Uh, there is no uh, shifting. Uh, yeah. There is no changing. Uh, yes, uh, my brothers and sisters. Uh, yes, uh, if you open a restaurant, uh, yes, uh, the people who would patronize uh, your restaurant, uh, yes, uh, they would come in uh, with one thing primarily on their mind uh, is that the food uh, today uh, will be just as good uh, as it was on yesterday. Uh, they're looking for consistency. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, I stopped by to tell you that Jesus uh, is sweeter than the day before. Uh, yeah. I stopped by to tell you that he's just as good uh, on today uh, as he was on yesterday. Uh, and he'll be that much better uh, on tomorrow yeah. as he was uh, on today. Uh, yeah. I tell you, there is uh, no shadow of, of changing with him. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, he's always uh, the same. Uh, he's always there uh, morning, uh, noon, uh, or night. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, he's there, uh, yes, uh, all the time, uh, yes, uh, and all the time uh, he's there. Uh, somebody else said it like this, uh, yes, he's good uh, all the time, uh, and all the time uh, he's good. Uh, let me go on and sit down now. Yes, uh, but as I sit down, uh, I got to tell you, weeping uh, may endure for a night, uh, but I stop by to tell you that joy uh, comes in the morning. Uh, I don't know how long uh, your night may be, uh, but I stop by to tell you that joy uh, comes in the morning. Uh, I can't tell you, uh, yes, uh, how much you have to endure uh, during the night, uh, but I stop